forward and back on your toes. Balls of feet, heels. Balls of feet, heels. Outside, inside. Outside foot, inside foot. Good. Round one way. Reverse. Other side. One way. <coughs> and reverse. Knees. Reverse. Feet flat bend. Eye up. I bend. Eye up. <coughs> Hips. Reverse. Side. Just twist and keep your feet flat on the floor. Twist, twist, twist. And start to lift your heel. Reach over. And start to full twist to reach all the way around. Good. Feet your shoulders apart. Let your body hang forward. Push your knees back. Push your bum back and up. I left. <coughs> All right. Stands up. Bend your knees. Hips through. Right side twist. A left side twist. A circle, skim the floor. A reverse. Sit on your left leg. Change. Push, lunge. Drop your hips back straight onto the ceiling. Keep your hips facing forward, drop your body back so your front leg is straight. Push back forward and twist. Head to your knee. Push, lunge, other side. Drop your hips back straight onto the ceiling. Rock back, stretch your front leg. Forward again. Keep the knees bent and rotate. So in your own time, just that sequence. So watch, you're going to go over, back, forward, twist. Over, back, forward, twist. In your own time. Try and keep your back straight, core tight. Good. Shikodachi. Push knees, drop the shoulder. Others. Good. From here. 
keep your core tight, good shake of that. Only to drop your knee and back. Ready? Eight. Other side, knee. Sun. Chi. Keep the same height. Four. Rock. Sitch. Touch. Curve. Jo. Try not to do this. Not this. Don't move your body. Isolate. Okay. On my count, ready? Eight. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Touch. Curve. Jo. Ay, ay. Ay, keep it that chi. Toes forward. Grab your ankles, straighten your legs, push your bum up. Hey, keep it up, cheap. Best spread. Twist your left. Are you right? The center. I stand. Hips. On the way. Good. Feet one shoulder width apart. And down. Twist your body. The other side. And stand up. Arm side, stretch your left. A reverse. Other side. Out of us. Good. Shoulders forward. Arms. Shoulders back. Arms. One forward and backwards. Out of us. Rest. Neck. The left and right. This free movement. Ayame. Good. I just want to do one thing before we start the, the cut, okay? So, um, predominant move in this cut is to get number right. From a shikodach. Okay? So for your shikodach, if you are a shotokan person, don't do it that much. So your kibadach would be toes forward, knees over toes, yeah? Back straight, core tight here, yeah? For your shikodach, twist on your heel, open out, and you should be equal. So not here. Not here. Okay? Your knee over toes. Always, knee over toes, okay? Not too high like this, and not equal, not flat, that's too low, okay? It's a bit higher, okay? Now when you move, okay? Same principle when you're moving in a kibadach in Shotokan, yeah? You don't want to plod, and you don't want to plod, yeah? Not this. Same for shikadach. You want to move with your hips. Whenever you move forward and back, your hip must go first. Hip. Okay? Hip. 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 And then whip it. Okay? So don't plod. Linear. More linear. Okay? Now, for your get em for eye. For Shotokan, you come to your ear. Elbows in, yep, yeah, and then pivot. 
about. Yeah? Yeah. For Shitaru, don't. Lower. About your bicep. Bicep height. Slightly lower. And you don't pivot. So what they do instead is you reverberate your hip. So not here. Not up here. Lower. Reverberate. Okay. So you flip your hip. Back, forward. Okay. So you no twisting. Reverberate. Reverberate. So slight hip movement. Reverse. Like you would if you were punching. Yeah? You don't do that. You just relax in. Relax in. Relax in. Okay? When you do the block, I want you to think about your shoulder relaxing and pushing forward slightly. So not here, down. Think of it like a Toshizuki. Yeah? When you, when you punch down, same thing. Okay? So I want you those things in, in mind. As you though you don't rotate it through your hips. It's always done as a twist on the spot. You don't pivot. Okay? There. If you're the Shikadash, think about the same principle that you would use for Kibadash, i.e. hips and whip. Okay? It'll all become much clearer when we're doing it, okay? Just for your own interest, there are two versions of Suyuchin, two main ones anyway. The Shito version, which we're going to do, and the Gojuru version. They are pretty much identical, apart from the opening that movements are slightly different, and the way that the movements are done is, as you would expect, slightly different, okay? For Shito, the blocks are more blocks. For Gojuru, they're more circular. Yeah, and the stances are and the stances are a bit lower. Um, the opening movements are slightly different, so if you do see a, go, a, a, a goju version of it, it will be slightly different. Okay, um, not notice, not really that important and that noticeable. Okay, what's interesting about Sayunchin is that there are no kicks, no kicks in this cutter. Okay, it's one of the few that there aren't any kicks. Actually, you do do a heel flick. I don't count that as a kick, look, really. Um, but that doesn't particularly count. Okay. Um, one more thing out of um, interest. I can't remember what I was just going to say then. Um, it will come back to me. Right. So what we want to do is focus on the angles at the start. Okay. Um, the moves are done. The first three moves are done on forty-five degree but your body is facing forward so you move 145 other 45 other 45 okay the trend for goju cutter is you do three opening movements okay think like that sanction or um super empire same thing yeah <laughs> you do the same thing three times going going forward just as you would in the pin and cutters or high end cutters or anything like that it comes in threes yeah, so we're going to think about that, okay? It's quite short comparatively, so we should be able to get through it in fair speed. Everyone, good, yeah? Right. Yep. Heels together. Musubadat. Heels together. Hey. Good. For Yoi, keep your feet exactly where they are and bring your hands in front, left on top, slightly pushing down with the palms. Yeah. From here, we're going to twist the balls of our feet so we come out not, not totally like a sanction that's in, fairly equal, but have that pressure on the outside of your legs. So feel that pressure on the outside of your legs. As you do that, you're going to circle your hands round, pull them slightly up, and then push down. For Goju, you just go round. For Shito, Slightly in and then down. As you push down, 
Feel your core tighten and your belt not come up. Okay, so feel your in, up, up, and feel pelvic tilt here, here, okay, yeah, feel your core tighten and round, ready, eight, good, you're going to step forward with your right leg into a shikodachi, it's not straight here, at an angle, so off to your 45, you drop into a shikadach, but you're still facing the front. So, so the opening moves are going to be 45, 45, 45, yeah? So body on slight 45 angle, and go into a shikadach, okay? So as you step down, you're going to open your hands and put them over the ends of your knees. Back straight, core tight. Now, you're going to pull your hands up, no higher than chin height. Backs of your hands touching. Okay, so they come up, backs of your hands touching. H. From here, you're going to roll your fingers down and push them round. H. Good. Just go back to Yoi. Back to Yoi. The other spot, yeah? Step out. H. Knee. Backs of hands touching, chin height. Sun. Good. For she. For the four count. We're going to circle and block with our right arm. Haikawuki. Okay, this one, centre, this one, over your knee or just, just, just in of that, yeah? So you circle, block, circle, block. Good. Yeah. Kakeuki, so turn your arm and grab. Now, as you, you're going to pull the, the kakayuki arm in, so you're going to pull your right arm in. As you do that, bring your left arm forward. Now, this comes, it doesn't come, they don't meet, it comes slightly forward. Slightly forward. Okay, so don't think about bringing it round, think about bringing it through. Through, okay? through here. Okay? okay? Let's do the opening that moves again. So start from here. You ready? Step forward with your right leg. Shoot that. Palms open over your knees. H. Bring your arms up. Knee. Circle down. Sun. Block, she, kakeyuki, go, pull in. Okay. That's your opening in your sequence. Okay, so let's do that one more time and then we're going to do that on each side. We're going to go right, then left, then right again. Ready? Go eight. Open, H. Good. Step down with your right, H. Knee, sun, sheep, rock, rock. Good. So now you're going to step through. So you now put your left leg in front. As you do that, over your knees. Over your knees. Okay? So keep the same height. Same height. Don't do this. Not this. Feel it on your quads. Down. H. Pull in. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Rock. Rock. Other 
other side. So step forward with your right leg. H. Keep the same height. Knee. Bump. Chi. Go. Eruk. AMA. I give you legs a shake. So, your aim is to keep the same height throughout. So there should be no. Once you've done here, up, up, here, as you move, keep the core tight, back straight. When you move, don't do this, not this, okay? Here, back straight, straight down. Okay. Yeah, so you can maintain the same height all the time. Now, in terms of timing, slow, slow, Think of this, the movement down here, kind of like a breath. So it's not tense and it's not quick. It's slow. Okay, so think about it like a relaxation. Yeah. When you do this, you block. There's no gap in between this and this. So as soon as you hit this shape, turn your wrist. As soon as you hit that shape, turn your wrist. And then pull in. Now for your own interest, okay? The Goju version doesn't do this as a circular block. It comes up. And then pull in. So you go from here up. Okay? So um, slightly different, same end shape, yeah? You'll quite often find that, okay? Different, different styles will emphasize different ways of getting to, 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 to the same thing. The end shape will be, will be vaguely similar, as in the end movement won't be that different, but the way that you, that you, get, that you, that you get there will, okay? Um, any questions on that opening part? No? So, open, up, close, circle, kakayuki, in. You do that on one side, other side, then other side. When you move, keep your core tight, keep your back straight, keep your pelvic tilt. So what I mean by that is not this, not here, up. So your belt knot, so your belt should be parallel with the floor, not that. That doesn't mean that you just retie your belt, okay? That means that you keep, that you, that, that you keep your core tight, okay? No cheating. Everyone got that, yep. Right. Heels together. Eight. Joy. Circle, eight. And down. Step down with your right leg. Eight. Open. Up, knee. Thump. She. Dog. Dog. E, bump, she, go, walk, eight, knee, bump, she, go, walk, ayame, I'm now ready. Good. So the first part, fairly simple, yep. Yeah? Step, step, step. Next part, what? From where we are, this, this is your kick. You're going to heel flick with your right leg. You're going to heel flick with your right leg. Okay? As you do that, you're going to make your right arm, right hand a fist, left arm open, open, over, closed. Okay? As you do that, pull them in. It's not a hit. So not this, okay? Don't hit like a fly on here, okay? It's just a shape. So it's not a down, okay? You pull it in. Now you can either, different versions of this will do it slightly differently. You can either pull it into about your stomach height. I do it about, 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 about solar plexus height, okay? Um, Different ways to do it slightly differently. Most common is, is, is a bit lower, okay? Um, I lower it just because when I, when I first learned it, it was high. Um, 
So I find it quite difficult to then entirely drop. But somewhere in between your belt knot and your and your solar plexus is, is good, yeah? So you've got to time that, okay? So as you pull in, you make this shape. And it's not, remember, it's not, hit, not, not fast, okay? Slow. Ready? So from here, so your right leg's in front, left arm, right arm is a kakuluki. So you're gonna flick your heel up, H. Good. So as you do this, okay, you're gonna step down with your right leg and change your arms over. So the shape that you're gonna make, you're gonna go from here to here. So you pivot, like you've got a nail here, you pivot. Think about doing a punch with your right arm. Your left arm is just going to follow on top. And that's quick. So slow, quick. So from where you are, motodach, half stance. And look at my hips. I'm not doing this. I'm not rotating. I'm doing that reverberation that we talked about earlier. Okay, slight reverberation. So go from here, the right leg in front, here. So heel flip with your right, make the shape on your stomach. Eight. Step down with your right, motodach, and punch with your right. Knee. Good. From here, you're going to step back with your right leg, a full step back. Full step back. You pull your right arm back and leave your left where it is. And you're going to strike AGMP with your right arm into here. So again, slight different variations. You can either bring it slightly up angle it or through your choice okay um i would argue this is dependent on where their head is yeah so what i mean by that is if their head is lower think of it like a forearm strike if it's slightly higher here so in terms of for bunkai that would be where you're thinking of yeah but for for, for practice personal preference i would say okay um uh, I'm generally not too prescriptive on cutter as long as you do it right. Um, so if you so if you if you if you do this, it's not wrong. It's just bad. <laughs> yeah. So try to think about it. Shoulders down. Slight relaxation of hip and in. So these moves here, your hips never pivot. They relax and then go again. Relax and then go again. Okay. So you need to think about relaxation in your hip, tightness in your core though, because if you lose that tightness, this starts to happen, okay? So slight relaxation in your hip, down, 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 okay? One, two, three, okay? This is all done in a motodach, half stance, okay? Not as common to see as in kutsadach, okay? Everyone got that, yeah? So, right leg in front, this shape. So heel flick with your right. Alice, turn your hand over. That's it, so palm up. Palm up. Ready? H. Knee. Step back, stun. Elbow, she. Good. Ayame. So we're now going to do the opening of sequence. So all that going forwards. We're going to go this on each side. Yeah. We're going to come up. Step down. One, two. Okay. Everyone got that? Okay. Doi. Circle. H and down. Down with your right leg. H. Knee. Down. She, go, I look, I, 
E. Punchy. Oh. Fire up. Last one. H. E. Punchy. Oh. Dog. Come up. H. Step forward. Knee. Back, son. Right, sheep. Good. Movement. Moving on. So your left leg's in front, your right elbow, yeah? We're gonna go to our right corner into a sunshine dash. So we step up with our back leg, sunshine dash, right corner. As we do that, for anyone that knows that I die. This end shape, this end shape that we do at the start, yeah? I want you to hit that shape, but it's gonna be circular. So you're gonna come into your hip and round. Slight pullback, slight pullback. As you do that, core tightens, belt lock comes up. Sanchin batch. Okay, so go from here. You circle your foot, San Shin Dach, in, round. And again, in, round. Not this, not this. Shoulders relaxed, okay? Shoulders stay down. And think of this again, same sort of feeling, not slow the whole way, Slow. Slow is at the end. Slow. Sanchin latch. Core tight. Feel it on the outside of your legs. Okay? So quick, slow. Now, we're going to step forward into a left shuka dutch on the corner. And do a gedan barai, or a tetsuya ki. You can think of it like however you want, in the shuka dutch. Now remember what we were talking about, the preparation point, bicep, between shoulder and elbow, bicep. So don't do this. Not, not up to your ear, keep low, keep relaxed. I do it by facing forward. You go forward, point in the direction, point in the direction. Point in the direction and down. Okay. As you do that, twist into a shikodachi on the corner. Shikodachi, left leg in front. Right. So you should be to your front right corner. Your front right corner. <laughs> so, Alicia, when you do this, you're facing your front right, yeah? Step directly in front of, of you with your back leg. Yeah? That's it, yeah. Directly in front. Okay? So the way you're facing, step directly in front. Good. From here, you're going to take a full step back. So you currently got your left leg in front. Full step back, right leg in front. Yeah, mate. So let's just look at that part in a bit more detail, okay? So we're here. We bring our back leg in, we bring it in and we circle. Slight pullback. So we're now facing towards our front right corner. Front right corner. We're going to step forward with our back leg and block Gedan Barai in the Shukodach. As we do that, make sure we point in the direction, it comes to our bicep and down. Okay, we then take a full step back, full step back, and down, okay? So, for, for Shippo, okay, the emphasis isn't about everything landing at the same time, okay? The emphasis is on transferring your weight or getting a partial weight transfer and then going. So, for, for example, 
if I was doing a um, a shiitake, say, yeah, for Shotokan, you start at the same time, yeah, start at the same time, one book, and end at the same time, yeah. For Shito, no, not that. We transfer our weight. Then step through. So it's why there's, it's why it looks late is that you have to transfer your weight first. Point of that, okay, is it for turns and, and things? If I was going to turn, I transfer my weight, then pivot. Okay, so the same principle here. When I step through, I've started to transfer my weight. Then go. Okay. I've started to transfer my weight, then go. Okay. So it's why there looks a slight delay. It's not necessarily that you're purposely pausing it, it's that your weight must begin to transfer first. You step to a weight and then move. So it's a reverse concept if you're a Shotokan person, yeah? Okay. In practice, as long as your weight is transferring, okay. That's the purpose of your stance, is a weight transfer. Yeah? As in, the purpose of a, of a Zen Kutz is to put your weight forward, yeah? Forward. Okay? The end result of that is just be a slight delay. It means you're still using your hips, yeah? But it's just a slight difference to concept of movement of, and of a power generation, yeah? So, let's go from here. So, left leg in front, right elbow, facing the front. So we're going to go to our right corner, block H. Good. Step forward with your left leg, get on right in a shikodach, to the wall to the right corner. H. And back, knee. Good. Other side, so we're going to go to our left corner now. Our left corner. We're going to bring our left leg up. Into a left sanction dash, block with our left. Pitch. Step forward with your right. Get down the right. Pitch. Step back. Blocks your left leg in the front. Pitch. Ayame. Two on forward. We've done this little weird bit. We go to our right corner, one, two. We go to our left corner, one, two. Okay, so let's go from the start. Eight, boy, circle, eight. Step forward with your right, open, H, knee, front. I want you to block and then grab, she, oh. Step forward, H. Knee, sun, sheep, go. Other side, H. Knee, sun, sheep, go. Heel flick. Eight. Step down, knee, sun, chi. Step through with your right to your right corner. H, Sanchin Dutch. Step down, get down the right. H. And back, knee. The other corner. H, left leg in front. H. Knee. Good. So now make sure you've got room to step back. You're going to step back with your left leg on a straight line. So take a full step back with your left leg, so you end up on, on the straight. Okay? On the straight. As you do that, this is the flowery bit. You're going to pull your arm across, pull it round, and to the corner of your face. Think about it like... Um, in and go down. Before you do do at the end parts, you twist then go go down. Yeah, you twist then go down. This is the same sort of thing, but it's more 
circular. Okay, it's the same sort of shape as you would for Yondan, but pulled back slightly more. As you do this, you push down with the palm of your heel, circular. And this comes slightly to your forehead. Okay. <laughs> it's easier when you do it. <laughs> so, from where you are, uh, one, two. You've got your left leg in front towards your left corner, yeah? Step back with your left leg so you're on a straight line. And block. H. And again. So pull your, pull your right arm over first. Right arm over first. Round. And again. So think about it like this. You're blocking with your right arm. You take it. And then you hit. Right arm, catch it. Hit. Good. And again. Right arm, catch it. Hit. And that's done in one fluid motion. Uh, this is the coolest part in the, in the cutter. <laughs> okay, so you, after this, you're going to do the same move, but another step back. Okay, so you pull your left arm in, catch and down. Good. Are you, mate? So just watch this, okay? I want you to think about this. In terms of blocking, trapping the arm, hitting. Blocking, trapping the arm, hitting. Yeah? You see the same thing in lots of different cutter. You see it at the start. Blocking, trapping, hitting. Blocking, trapping, hitting. Yeah? You see it all throughout this cutter. Yeah? So it's a, it's a common theme throughout it. The, the idea of blocking something, keeping it there, Hitting, blocking, keeping it there, hitting. Okay, so think about it in terms of practical application as well as um, fluidity. Yeah, so we're going to go from the get and bride left hand corner. We're going to block with our right arm, catch down in a shikodach, and we'll do a full step back again, blocking, trapping, hitting. So you do two full steps back. Ready? So towards your left corner. Get down right. Ready? H, one. And back. Knee. Ayame. Good. So what I want you to do, okay? When you do this pull down, it's not, it's not a fingertip hit, and it's not a shoot to a key. It's palm of heel. Palm of A heel of palm. Not palm of the heel. <laughs> heel of palm. Okay? This part. This part. Okay? So think about it more circularly. Circularly, yeah. Circular. Okay? Get a quick drink and then we'll continue. By the way, at any point, if anyone has any any questions, just unmute and ask. Don't wait until until at the end, because then you'll carry on doing it wrong or right. In which case, that's good. If it's wrong, it's not. <laughs> okay. Ready. Continue. So we're going to go from the start up until that point. So we're going to stop with our left leg in front and this move. Okay. This is the same, if any of you know um, or have seen anyone do like Chattanyara, Shanku, this is the same thing. At the start, on this same move. Yeah, it's just in the shikha match. Okay? And if you want to be, if you want to compare it, if I do this and this and this, but if I do it with closed fists and step forward, 
Yeah? Same thing. Close hand, open hand. Yeah? Same thing. No difference. Yeah? And that's unsurprising, okay? Um, from a historical point of view, the person that brought this cutter back uh, from Japan was a, was a guy called Sakanio. Uh, so he was the guy that taught Trojan Miyagi for, for, for Gojiru. Uh, Kanido also, um, for those of you that were here last week, did Nijishiho. He's a guy that taught Aragaki, yeah? And one of the kata that Aragaki taught was Sochi. So the commonality between them is the, is the person that, that taught the, both of them, yeah? So it's unsurprising then that if you get taught by the same person, you'll have a similar view of it, i.e. blocking something and hitting, bob, bob, bomb, yeah? But just one preferred it more fluid for open hands and a defensive way, i.e. going backwards, yeah? Whereas an agaki would prefer going forward, yeah? Same move, different direction, emphasis on closing our open hands. In the same way that when people fight, yeah? I fight with one hand open, one hand, one hand so close. Um, but Senpei Henry will fight with two hands so close. Yeah? Uh, Jake, who's not here, fights with two hands open. Yeah, it's, 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 it comes down to that, as in your preference. Yeah? So think of it about a preference, not as a, it must be done like this in terms of your bunkai and your approach for it. Yeah? So we're going to go from the start up until this point. Yeah, that's your history and, and the bunkai lesson done. Good. <laughs> so, eight, joy, circle eight, down eight, knee, up, she, block and trap, four, eight, knee, up, she, Oh. Good. Heel flick and up. H. Step down. Knee. Back. Sun. She. Step with your right leg into a sanction dash towards your right corner. H. Step down. Knee. Back. Sun. To your left corner. Left leg. H. Knee, um, step back with your left leg on the straight line, block, H, one more full step back, knee, good, just one teaching point on this, when you do the, when you step back, don't forget to pull this elbow in, you've got to block with it, Block. If it just goes straight down, you're missing your center line. Down, down, yeah? So it must come through your center and then round, okay? Any questions? No? Good. So, we have our, where are we? One, two, three, four. Up, 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 come, up, up. Step back, step back. Good. So we have our left leg in front here, yeah? We're going to step up. Again, you can either do this in a motta dash or a sanchin dash. Okay? I do it in the motta dash. Just so you're aware. You're going to come up into motta dash, okay? And you're going to strike with your forearm into your hand. Now, it's not like before, it's a bit higher, it's a bit lower. Okay? Full step up. In, H. You're going to do a double step forward. Okay? As you do that, you can either, again, do this slightly differently. You can either do it as a punch or as a slight uraken. Yeah? You can either do it across or down. Okay? So, whatever you do, not this. Yeah, relaxed, whip, whip, 
I would recommend doing it from your left shoulder and down. Okay? Because it's easier to, to generate power and you can flow off it quite quickly. Okay? So. You come up. And down. One, two. Now don't think of this as a, it's not. One, two. Slight, quick step forward. Okay, quick step forward. So go from here, left leg in front, right thumb up on your head. Just full step forward, so your right leg's in front. Drop, right. And hit knee. Good. We've got two corners left, and then that's it. Well, we've got a little bit more left, but that's fine. So, from here, we're going to step across with our front leg and twist the back corner. This is the hard bit. So, <laughs> more to explain over Zoom. In person, it's so quite easy. Zoom's not that easy. So, across with the front leg, ouch, twist. So you're in San Shindachi, and you're going towards your back left corner. Left as if you were looking at the front. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Good. So you just switch on the balls of your feet, so you're facing the back corner. Left leg in front. Okay? Left leg in front. So if I was facing behind, it would be my right side. If I was facing in front, it would be my left side. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Good. Good. That's it. Good. Right. As you do that, you're going to block left arm out, right arm down. Left arm up, right arm down. Um, do that again, everyone. Sorry. We just want to check people are stepping across with the right leg. Step across with your front leg. Step across with your front leg. That's it, and twist towards the back corner. That's it. That's it. Other corner, look, Martin. Other corner. We landed in Sanchin. Yeah. Landing in the Sanchin Dutch. And twist so you're facing uh, your sofa. Look, Martin. That's it, yeah. So you're going towards, no, other corner. That's it, yeah, but your left leg in front. That's it, yeah, but your left leg in the front. So we're here, we step across with, we step across with our front leg and then with our left leg in front. Front leg, left leg in front, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it, yeah. As you do that, that's it, yeah. So block with your left arm out, right arm down. Again, I want you to focus on your core. So as you twist, oh, strong. And feel this, and you should be able to see, like physically see, this pelvic tilt. You should be able to see it. Okay. Sanchin that, left arm block, right arm down. Okay? So go back from here. We'll just do this turn up one more time. Just one more time. So step across with your front leg and block. H. Good. We're gonna kakayuki with our left arm. So the arm that's blocking out, kakayuki. H. Kakayuki. You're gonna step forward. Okay, with your right leg into a shikodach and strike up. Okay. So from here, I'll do it like facing where it is and then I'll turn around and do it. So you're here. Pull this arm down to your centre line. Up. 
You step forward, so now your right leg would be in front. And you strike. Punch under the chin. This one comes down to your center line. Okay? So you should have your right leg in front. You will have your feet up. From here, you're going to do two strikes on the spot. So you don't move your feet. You're going to strike. But I can. Get on but I. As you do the get on but I, pull the hand back. Uraken, get ambarai. Uraken, get ambarai. As you do the, the, the get ambarai, pull your hand back. For, for goju, they leave it there. For shito, pull back. Okay? So, urazuki punch, one, two. One, two. Good. So, the hit move will be something like this. If I'm doing the urazuki, okay? Slight reverberation on the get em but I. Okay? As I would step through, twist, one, two. I'm going to step back again. Okay? So just practice that bit, just so I can see it. Just practice that, I guess, so I can see it. Nigel, when you do that, pull your elbow in. Not, not punch like this. Punch up. Punch up. So keep your elbow tucked in. Henry, when you, when you do the get on bride, pull the arm back more. So really pull it back round. Here. Not loose. Yeah, but don't raise your shoulder. Don't raise your, sh your shoulder. You're doing that. Shoulder down. Yes. So you should feel you should feel it opening your your chest. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay. So use this to open your your chest out. Yeah. The fluidity of your chest. Okay. That's it there. So go from here. Just go from here. Strike. Yeah, so no. So go from here. You uppercut. Strike with the back of your fist. And down. Yeah. So this is a separate move. One move, okay. two move, three move. So one, two, three. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And keep your hand open. Open. Close. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So you open, strike, closed. Open, strike, closed. Good. Right. Do that again, Henry, because you mistimed that. <laughs> strike. No. Do it again. Leave it there for the for the Uruken. Now, yes. That feels different, yeah? Yeah. Do it right then. <laughs> okay. Good. So let's go from here. So we've got a right leg in front. We're striking with our right arm. In a bottle match. So step across with your front leg, face the back corner, double block. Oh. Kakayuki left. Oh. Step forward. Uppercut in a shiko dash. Oh. Uraken, leave the arm there, get under eye, pull it back. Oh. Do uh, go back to here. Don't, it's not just an arm movement. You need some movement. So not just there. That is weak. Slight reverberation of the hip. Slight reverberation of the hip. Okay? You can't just stick your arm out. You're not going to hurt anyone. Okay? Slight reverberation, hip and down. Good. That's it for this year, yeah. That's it, yeah. Good. 
So we go from here. One, two, three. We're going to step back. Get on the right. So you've got your right leg in front. Step back. Get on the right. So you're now in left. Yep. Good. Now, if you do like Chotokan, you won't do this stance a lot. Neck right attach. Cat stance. Okay. You're going to pull up into right cat stance. So you're facing the front. As you do that, you're going to pull your left arm into your hip and strike MP. Now, there's debate over what way the MP goes. So I was originally taught it wasn't round. Okay. However, I don't think you need, there needs to be a distinction between a Tate MP and Moashi MP. I would do it as a my MP. So what I mean by that is it comes directly up to your centre, but it doesn't do this. It's not round like that. It flicks up, slightly up. Yeah, so slightly up. So think about the arm. It doesn't come all the way up to the front and then round. It does a slight circular motion. Okay, so it's not a stopping point. It comes through. Okay, so you should have your left leg get on right. So your centre, neck right to that. Right leg crush that, right MP. Eight. Right leg crush that, right MP. Did you do the step back for Henry? <laughs> step back. What way did you start, start facing? You should be facing the other corner. Yep. Yeah. Kake left. Up, up. Yep, yeah, that's it. One, two. Pull your front, that's it, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. Good. One. Take a full step back, neck right, neck right to that, left end pin. Eight. Oh, so watch my hips. My hips are square, by the way. Not entirely square, because you do push your forward slightly, but not this. Not, not open. So as I do this, I have to relax my hip and then square it. Relax my hip, square it. If you notice, I relax my hip, square it. Okay? Relax my hip, square it. So I must step back. Remember what I was saying, transfer your weight, then move. So it's not this. Step back, transfer your weight, move your hip. Yeah, that's it. Step back, transfer your weight, move your hip. Step back, transfer your weight, move your hip. Good. So you should be in left neck crush that, left MP. Good. We'll do some practice on that at the end of that move because that's quite, quite hard to generate some, some power from. Okay. So we should end up with our left, left cat starts, left MP. So we're going to go to the other corner. So we're going to step across with our front leg, block, right arm round, left arm down. H. Good. Good. Face the back right corner. Back right corner. Block round and down. Kake left. H. Kake left. Step through. Uppercut. H. Uraken Jedambarai. H. Step back. Jedambarai. H. Look to the front, pull your, pull your uh, left leg in, MPH. Knee. Good, let's just do that part again. So you have, we'll go from the other side. So you've got your left MP in front. Left MP, left neck crash latch. Left MP, left neck crash latch. Step across with your front foot. 
to the other corner. H. Takeuti. Takeuti. Which hand is up in front of you there? Uh, right. So we go from left MP. As you step across, your right leg will then be in front. So you do block your right arm out. That's it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Takeuti. Step through with your left. Upper cut, H. Full step back, get number eight, H. Your left leg in, my MP, H. Full step back, my MP, H. Last move. Last two moves, actually. Sorry. You're going to bring your back hand over. So it goes palm and the two to edge facing the front. Eight. From here, you're going to do a heel step. Make it tighter. Sorry. Not here. Just trace the line of your trace the line of your body. Trace the line of your body. So it comes up, follows your arm down, and then drops. Traces the line of your body. Okay? You're gonna do a heel toe. Or bottom. Or bottom. As you do that, your arms just change place. You strike Uraken and pull it back. Um, one, two. Good. From here, you're gonna, gonna change your weight, step back, pull your arms up, push out. Are you mate? Oh, no, mate. That's it. Okay, so you see what I mean when I say Technically, it's not that difficult. As in, in terms of the moves that you do, the moves aren't complicated moves. It's the footwork, the angles, and the technique slight change. Yeah, that's what's the difficult part about it. It's a bit different, the end part especially, because you don't really see MPs in cat styles at all. Well, not really. Yeah. Um, Especially front end piece. You see the back end piece a bit, as in if you're doing a heel toe step, but not front ones. Okay. Um, Abernathy has a cool, a cool with Bunkai for this, where he treats it as a choke like from the front. So if someone's got their their their, their back to you, you pull one side of their shirt and pull and pull the other side round. So he treats it as a as a as a as a as a choke, which I think explains it a bit a bit better because you wouldn't end piece someone with your with your front hand going backwards because you'd be completely off balance and it wouldn't work yeah um so in terms of that it does make sense as in treating it as a as a choke yeah which would also explain why you don't do this because it won't work linear linear yeah so think of it like that think of it as a pulling as a as a as a pulling between your hands yeah not necessarily as an MP going round or up or through or whatever. Yeah. So we're going to go from um, we'll go from here. Okay. So we've just pulled our, our our arm in and we're just going to punch. So we're going to do the last two two. Uh, we're going to go one corner, MPs, one corner, MPs, and finish. Yeah. Um, and then we just run through the cutter a few times. Yeah. So we're going to go from right leg in front. Pull in and hit. So right leg in front, pull in, hit. So step across with our front leg, to the back corner, block, left arm round, left arm on top, H. Good. Akayuki left, H. Step forward, uppercut, H. Uraken, Genambarai, H. Step back, Genambarai. Pull your front leg in, so you've got right neck crush that right MP, H. That's it. 
Step back, left end peak. Step across with your front leg, so your right sanction back, right arm block on top. Takayuki right. Step through, uppercut left. Uraken Gerambalai. Step back, Gerambalai right. Pull your back leg, your left leg up. NP, H. Do that again, Henry. You did the something wrong. I don't know what it was. Yeah. I don't know. I'll carry on. Step, step back. Block. Eight. Trace the line of your body. So bring it up, trace over and down. Step through heel toe. Forward again. H. Nefashadach. Nefashadach. So you go from Nefashadach to Nefashadach. So I want you to heel toe as you then pull your weight in. Okay? Pull your weight in. In. From here. Full step back, palms to your face, H. Down, palms down, like here. Some styles do it like this. Some just put it in like this, okay? Here. Hey, yeah, mate. Hey, Natalie. Now, just um, for some context, this position, for the Goju version, you don't start with open hands. You start with your hands here. You start with your hands here and then circle up and down and then the rest of it, yeah? So you don't do this part. They start here. Yeah? So slightly different. So the end shape is the same. This idea of palms in, elbows down, like a triangle shape, yeah? Now triangle shape is a great thing. If your natural flinch reaction is this. Formalize that it's here. Yeah? So this shape is a very natural shape. It's a good guard shape. Yeah? If I'm thinking about where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I start to pull my elbows in and do this, yeah? This is my natural fighting guard. Yeah? Here. Formalize that. Okay. It's a great shape too. Okay. Whenever you block something, triangular shapes are great because it slides off. Yeah. Where I'm going to block. I formalize that here. Yeah? So this is just as much of, it has a practical use, obviously. Okay? But it also it's also a great shape for getting you to feel where your arm should be most of the time. Yeah? All you would do is move one up or down, and that would be the shape where I would be. Yeah? But this angle that we have at the end, yeah, is the shape that you need wherever it is. Yeah? So think about it like that, okay? Think about it as just as a practical use as well as a kind of like a um, overarching theme, yeah? So that's the cutter. We're gonna run through it from the start to finish a few times, okay? Just so we can get it and then we can ask some questions and uh, work some stuff around it, yeah? And we'll do some a bit of a technique on the step backs for the Nakwash Dutch because people find that a bit hard, I think. So we'll run through it about two times, okay? Just we've got the idea of it. We'll then work on the neck wash adapter a, a bit, and then we'll and then we'll uh, and we'll do it once more, and then we'll finish. Yeah, sound good. Three, right from the beginning. Heels together. We'll sort that. Eight. Yoi. Slightly pushing down. Circle and push. Eight. Right leg in front down. Eight. Knee, up, sheave, grab, four, eight, knee, up, sheave, four, eight, knee, up, sheave, four, heel flick, eight, Step down, right leg in front, knee. 
Step back. Bump. Elbow. She. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. Bring your right foot in. Right sanction that right corner. H. Right sanction that right corner. Step through. Get on by left. H. Step back. Get on by right. To your left corner. H. Left sanction that left arm in front. Step through. H. Get on by right. Knee. The cool bit. Step back with your left leg. Lock down. H. Remember what I said. Pull your elbow in. Knee. Full step forward. Pull in. Eight. What I can. Eight. Good. Step across with your front foot. Left sanction dash, left arm on top. Back corner. Kakayuki left. H. Kakayuki left. Step through, uppercut right. Pull up in, get on the right. Eight. Step back, get on the right. Pull your right leg up, MP. H. Step back, left MP. Step across with your left foot. So you're in right, sanction that, right arm on top. Kakayuki right. Step through, uppercut left. Urakin, get on the right. Step back, get on the right. MP left. MP right. Trace the line of your body. H. Urakin right. Nefashalach. Step back, lock. Ayame. Ayame. Get a quick drink, then we'll work, then we'll break it once more, okay? <clears throat> Can I ask a question? Yeah, go for it. You know the triangle bit, what stance are we in there? Is that Nekawashi Dutch? Nekawashi Dutch, yeah. So you transfer your weight and then shift your body weight down as you push down into it. So if you're here, um, yeah, so if I do it, go. You pull in around. You can formalize it as much as you want. If you're, if you're, if you're being that really uh, showy, pull it in, show your ch 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 chest and round. Yeah, but, um, Generally, just up, round. Yeah. Good. Once more. We'll go through it a bit faster now. It's quite a slow cut, cut anyway. So that means that you need to emphasize the quick parts. A boom, boom. Yeah. Those need to be sharp. Ready? Ready? Circle down, H. H. B. Thumb. Sheep. Oh. H. Knee. Thumb. Sheep. Go. H. Knee. Thumb. Sheep. Oh, heel flick, eight, knee, thumb she. Right corner, eight, get on the right left, eight, back, knee, left corner, left leg in front, eight, get on the right, right, eight, knee, Aich. Remember, put your elbow in. Knee. Aich. 
knee. Step across, left leg in front, left arm on top. Eight. Kakuyuki, eight. Uppercut, eight. Knee, two strikes. Back, sun. Pull your right leg in. MP, eight. Knee. Step across, eight. Kakuyuki, right. Step through, uppercut, eight. Knee, double hip. Back, sun. Pull your back leg up, empty left, eight. Knee. Trace the line of your body, eight. Knee, strike. Step back, eight, and down. Yeah, mate. And yeah, mate. That's it. See, once you run through it, not that long, yeah? A um, couple of points. When you're doing this, it can be quite a slow cutter and it's not, um, because it's basic moves, you need to do them well, yeah? So when you're doing the quick movement, the rapidity of your arms needs to correspond with the, the relaxation of everything, tense, bump, as in what I mean, is it because you are moving quite quickly in deep stances, yeah, your core needs to be tight. It's easier to step forward in Nekwashidach quick because you're quite, you're relatively high and it's a short stance, yeah? It's not that difficult to then move fairly rapid. Even easier in, in, in um, Mokidach, yeah? The test of this cutter is it's almost entirely in the Shikodach, yeah? You cannot raise your height. You keep the same height the entire time, okay? Uh, for those moves, yeah? Even when you're in a sanction dash, although the height isn't the same, you still feel the pressure on the outside of your, of your, of your quads, yeah? You'd be able to pull your core up and feel the tightness on the outside of your legs, yeah? And then when you drop, shift with that sharp, shift with that sharp, slow, shift with that time, two, yeah? Slow. Slow, one, two, yeah? So you've got to make a dynamic, a, a um, what's the word? A, a tempo change in, in between the rapid movements and the, and the slow ones. And they need to be definitely, if they're slow, under control, yeah? Don't do it fast because you, you can't do it slow, yeah? Or vice versa, yeah? So practice each of the movements through it. Okay, so don't just do this bit quick because you find hard control it. Yeah, slow, slow, rapid, bump, bump, yeah? So we're gonna work on some of the dynamics of it, okay? First, I just want us to do the empties, okay? So we've done the arms, yeah? But I want you to focus on the, remember I was saying about the arm, the, the hands, yeah? So think about it in terms of the hands, the twisting, yeah? Okay, the my MP goes slightly forward. Now with the hips, just watch that for a bit. Okay, you don't need to, uh, to do it. With the hips, when I step back, when I step back, I transfer my weight, open my hip, close it. Open my hip, close it. Now the difference for Shotokan is that Shotokan, when you're rotating, yeah, you can be stationary and do it, as in here. Yeah, that. You're stationary and you do, and you do this. Shito doesn't do that stationary. You do it in movement. So what I mean by that is if I'm here, in movement, open, close. Open, close. So I do the same idea of using your hips, as in the, the, the pivoting, but I do it on the move. So I don't land, no crush that, and then do that, yeah? All at one point in time, open my hip, close it. Open my hip, close it, yeah? So you get the same hip, but you've got to do it within movement, yeah? That reduces the pressure on your hip, 
yeah? It reduces the, the, the downward pressure that you often feel there, okay? And it's done in motion, yeah? In motion. Does that make sense? When I'm doing my neck flashing act, again, for shock clients, it's a bit closer. If you think, uh, think about Utsu or think about the class I show, yeah? Like it's quite close, yeah? It's relatively close to your body. She hurts a bit further out, yeah? So your back foot should be about 15, 20 degrees, no more than that. If you're, if, if you're, if you're, um, the wano, then it's fairly out, quite a lot, yeah? For Shito, she needs to be a bit further in. Wait, here. Not this. Don't mark my back. Same principle as when we're doing the shiko adapt. Not that. Yeah. Okay. Back straight. Yeah. Here. Don't relax and sit your bum out. Or fight. Okay. Does that make sense? So on a technical level, yeah. So let's do the step backs with these. Okay. What are you two to, uh, to, uh, to focus on doing? Stepping back, opening your hips, whipping them closed. Stepping back, opening your hips, whipping them closed. With the arms, think about the pulling, 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 pulling. Yeah? So just go into a left Nikrash Adach. Come forward quite a bit because I just want you to practice it going back. A left MP. So what we're going to do is I want you to step back, open your hip, whip it closed, and MP. Focus on pulling the hands. So I should see a visible movement in your hip. So in your own time, just, 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 just practice that. Good. Just continue practicing. Remember what I was saying, my MP, forward. Direction should be forward. Direction should be forward. Remember, open your hip, close it. Open your hip, close it. It's quite difficult to do it in movement, especially when the when your legs are tired, because uh, it's at the very end of the cutter. Yeah, so your quads will be will be hurting. Good. Much better, everyone. Yeah. Okay. So. Much better because you can see the movement of your hip. Before what people were doing is just plodding back. Yeah. So remember what I, I, I said, transfer your weight, whip your hips. Transfer your weight, whip your hips. Yeah. Try to do the cutter in the style that it is. As in, if you watch like Kanazawa do this, yeah, because Kanazawa adopted Fuenshin, he does it like a Shotokan that practitioner, which is fine because you adopt it like, like that, okay? Um, but I'm not teaching the shotgun version of it, yeah? <laughs> so it is there, but you need to think about the way of moving, because it, it will teach you something different, yeah? As in transferring the weight, whip. Transfer the weight, whip, yeah? So let's try and think about it in terms of, in terms of that, yeah? So we're going to... Um, what other part is there that does that? Um, all right, one more thing that we'll, we'll do. We'll do the circular motions in a sanction dash because, because I want you to, to feel the weight, uh, the um, one, the movement, and two, the, the anterior uh, tilt, okay? So when we do this part, it comes via the side of your body, via your hip, it doesn't stop, and it's not here. It comes through and then pulls back. Slightly circular. Ironically, this is the way that I do look that's I anyway, but <laughs> you shouldn't. Okay. Um, here. So slightly circular. A and again, quick slow. Okay. Quick slow. And then rapid, rapid. Yeah. So as we do this, you circle your you circle your feet. You circle your feet. You plant your foot. My weight has now gone. I move my arms, I pull my hips up. Okay. 
Okay. Try not, um, Henry, with your feet, try not to replicate that with your body. So what I mean by that is your feet circle, your body doesn't. Your feet circle, body doesn't. Body stays here. Body stays here. Feet circles. Yeah. So less, less, um, less this. Yeah. We don't want to move our, our whole body. We move our feet. Move our feet. Then. Then. Yeah. Yeah. But not so one, two. Keep it fluid. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we got that. I want you to think of the same principle when we're doing this. This. It's not like it's not like sand and it's like that. Yeah? It's circular. Circular. And again, the get and right isn't directly straight. It's not there. It's slightly bent, slightly relaxed. It's slightly bent, slightly relaxed. So it's not dead straight. You're not pushing it down like this, okay? You're not doing it like this. You're slightly relaxing it and down. It's the same when you're doing this move. It's not straight. It's slightly relaxed. That doesn't mean bent. That means slightly relaxed, yeah? Slightly relaxed. Haku, pa pa pa. yeah? So. We're going to do the cutter once more, okay? I'm going to talk you through it, but it's going to be sharp, okay? So if I, um, if you see me do it sharp, yeah, then we'll do it sharp. So it's slow, controlled, yeah? Keep your stance for shukadach, same height. Sanjindach, feel the tightness in your core, feel the tightness in the outside side of your, of, your, of your quads, okay? Time the body so your weight transfers, your feet, your arms, everything then goes and everything goes together. Yeah. So it's not the fact that you do one thing, then the other thing. It's just they start at different times. Yeah. So let's think of it like that. Last time we're going to do it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Hey. Joy. Circle, eh? Slowly, H, knee, sun, she got, I, H, knee, sun, she got, oh, last one, H, knee, sun, she got, oh, heel flip slowly, H, down, eight, knee up. Circle, eight. Down, pass, eight. Back, knee. Eight. Down, eight. Knee. Slowly, sun, eight. One more back, she. Four step, eight. Knee. Step across, slowly, H. Haku, your key there. Uppercut, H. Knees up. G. Right in there, crash that, H. Knee. Left across, block, H. Haku, your key right. H. Knee. Ah. MP left, eight. Knee. Trace your body, eight. Eight. Step back. Don't finish. Yeah, mate. And that way. That's it. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> Um, I'll do it once just so you can watch it without having to do it um, uh, and then we'll finish there okay so
you're done. I'll do it once more. Do you mind if I video you? Yeah? Yes, fine. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. So. Last time. Ready? That's it, okay? So, um, I believe Nick's recorded all of it, yeah? Yeah.